Hi, welcome back to my channel, you guys. So, fun fact, okay, before I start, um, I literally already recorded this whole video, and then I didn't hit record. Isn't that cute? That's freaking hilarious. Anyway, um, so <laughs> maybe since the other one was kind of a train wreck, I'm gonna tone it down a little bit, okay? So, for you guys' sake, it's probably good that it didn't record. <sighs> okay. So today's video actually wasn't supposed to be this at all. And I may even post another video because quite frankly, this wasn't the plan today. Um, but I felt like it, it was a PSA was needed. Okay. Like this so was this weekend. I had the great idea to run errands like a crazy person. Um, so I had to run some errands and on, um, let me back actually rewind fast or excuse me, rewind to Friday I had off normally I don't have Friday off okay so I was like you know what I want to do something that's like relaxing and just chill and like I just want to go somewhere except my home <laughs> you know what I mean um but my standards are low I didn't have a lot expectation wise so um basically especially with like the way things are right now I my expectations were like pretty low bar okay so I figured I would go to the coast I was like okay we'll go to the coast mostly we'll be in the car we'll get out if we go to a restaurant it'll probably be takeout like we'll go to a park and sit and eat it <laughs> you know it's like i had a lot of social distancing things i was figuring out. i figured if we go to the beach i will just stay as farther away from people as possible you can see i was in the sun because look how freaking red i am anyway so <laughs> sun hates pale people as you can see so um that's what i figured would happen and i was like it'll just be like a chill day like i'm not gonna expect much i'm just not gonna do much okay this is like the first outing i would say i've gone on like where i knew there would be people okay <laughs> like but we recently in the oregon and washington enacted like rules about like everyone wearing masks when you're in a public space or basically if you can't be six feet from someone then you need to have a mask on pretty much um but a lot of businesses are saying like you have to have a mask on to go in there right so it is what it is so of course i have my mask things are fine right so <laughs> first place we go which was kind of my own fault too because i feel like that was kind of dumb on my part to expect anything better but i made the mistake of being like you know what i haven't been to the casino in a while we're gonna pass by let's just stop there play a few games i will like clean my hands really well wear my mask the entire time literally avoid anyone like i don't want to be near anybody anyway and a lot of these places are enacting a lot of rules i researched it before i went to see like are these places taking serious or not because i don't want to like go there and find out they're not fun fact some of these places aren't taking it serious um so the casino actually i shouldn't say that i shouldn't down the casino because i feel like the casino is doing whatever they can but it's just the stupid people that walk in are the problem so and unfortunately there's a lot of stupid people in the world so i go in first thing i see after we get the temperature check i get my like my mask has been on actually the whole time since i walked from the car so i like walk in there are like just people out there willy nilly literally they put the mask on to get in the building and then we're just like i don't have to wear it now because i'm in the building it's not just like showing a ticket you know what i mean like you're not scanning it and then you go in and you don't wear it anymore that defeats the purpose i don't know if you got that memo pick the memo up that's what i'm saying read it okay so I've seen, and the thing that upsets me, it sounds like such a long rant and such annoying, but the thing that upsets me is because I have to deal with these annoying people at work and I just felt like I'm gonna have a day off and it'll be chill, it'll be a chill vibe and I'm gonna avoid people for the most part and it'll be okay. Or I figured people in public would take it more serious because they're in a larger quantity of people so they would be more respectful of that. That's where I went wrong. Um, I thought people had common sense and that's, where we had a problem okay um so this is what the first person i came in contact with and i would say as a person that works in healthcare, this is the most common offender of the inaccurate mask wearing also in case you're wondering this is a diy mask just like my occluder video because 
my mask is in the car because I use it. Okay, so I didn't feel like walking out of the car and bringing it in here for this kind of stuff. So let me show you with my DIY. This is a Swiffer dry pad and some rubber bands. Okay, let me show you how to use, like, or let me show you first how she was using it, okay? So this is my first encounter. What is this? Please, I want the people who wear the mask this way to explain to me how this works because I don't understand, okay? Problem one, okay? So the nose, you use it to breathe, okay? And you breathe in out of it and you breathe out of it, okay? Or, you know, opposite hand motions, <laughs> but I'm upset, okay? So what makes you think that it wouldn't need to be covered? Isn't that crazy? Like, wouldn't it need to be covered to block said germs from entering into your respiratory system? I don't know. If you can explain to me how it works better that way, I would love to hear it. I'm assuming it's because you just don't want to wear it and you're being lazy. And the way to around that, because you figure no one will see that your nose is exposed, is to wear it like that and to see if you can slip through the cracks which you did karen anyway so number two i so this is part story time part tutorial okay so i go in the other one i saw which i see in the clinic too like people try to slip by with this in the clinic are you trying to be abe lincoln i'm confused what are you doing you're wearing it like a chin warmer it's a beard the problem is I'm gonna explain it, dumb it down for some people who are too dumb to handle things. You got a nose and you got a mouth, both of which contribute to your respiratory system. Where the mask is contributes to how much germ you get in your mouth and nose area. If you have the chin, your chin doesn't assist with the respiratory system, like in this way. So like germs are just being blocked from your chin and neck area, but it's actually not helping, okay? So coronavirus, this is it, goes like that in, into these areas. You see? So if you wear it like this, that does no good for you and is basically a waste of your time. You're basically not wearing a mask unless you just don't want chin germs, okay? There's that. Okay, so we have this other person. So that was chin warmer, okay? Those are the two offenders I see the most in the clinic and in public. Also, you've got the earring, okay? You're wearing a dangly earring. Um, I didn't know that the ear was the primary respiratory system, you know, device here. Um, you need to protect that from coronavirus, I would assume. So maybe, but these parts, like the, the nose and the mouth, not involved, apparently. Um, so there's that, okay? <laughs> now, I want to preface this with the people that are holding it like this and they just left the store and they're not near anybody and they're like, oh, thank God, it's so hot or whatever. I get those people. I'm not after you. I'm not after you. You're not involved in this conversation, okay? Because you did your job when you were in the store and then you're letting go when there's no one around. You're literally getting your car. Okay? So I'm not judging you, okay? Or if you're like, oh my gosh, I just got to the car. You know what I mean? Like these people that just took it off, I'm not looking at you, okay, in this. So don't be upset, don't be offended. I'm talking with people that are actively in the store shopping. This is me shopping with my car, okay? Like this or like this, or like that, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm talking to you. You're the one that's stupid here, okay? I don't know if you see what you're doing is incorrect, that's why I'm trying to educate you. Okay, so you've got that. Then, just in clinic, I haven't seen this in public yet, but in clinic I've seen what I call the muzzle, okay? Let me demonstrate the muzzle. So, their mask gets wadded up for some reason, and it's like this. It's barely covering here, it's not at all covering here, and they can barely talk because the mask is in their mouth. Please explain how that works to me. Um, if you see that your mask fits like that, being real with you, you should probably find a different mask because it doesn't fit your face, homie. It does not fit you, okay? It is literally wadded up like a tissue in your mouth. No, that's not how it was supposed to be, okay? So, then you have the people who are, I'm not gonna wear it. I've never heard of mask. Mask who? 
those people, you're a whole separate story. You need a whole separate video, okay? I just guess I'm just so upset because I feel like in March, we were shutting things down. We were trying to do everything right, you know, for the most part, so we could get back to normalcy, okay? And now I think like just everybody gave up. They're just like, oh, oh, this is so hard. Like, screw it. I'm just gonna do what I want now. And the proof is in the pudding, okay? We're taking tests and tests are going up and we're getting a lot of positive results such as life you know what i mean i don't care what your feelings are about coronavirus but if it's required that you wear it just freaking cooperate everyone else is doing it because it's required it's not because it's a fashion statement it's not because people are into it like no one likes masks i'm gonna tell you a secret i've never talked to anyone who's like oh my god i'm so happy we get to wear masks now they're the bomb like no no one is happy about them we do it because we don't want to get sick and we don't want other people to get sick that's why we're wearing them. We want this crap to be over with. So that's all you have to do. This is the correct way to wear a mask. You put it on like that, okay? If you have a different design, so be it. But you get the point. It's covering nose and mouth. It's here. It's on you. It's not doing anything else, okay? That's it. It's not complicated. It's like, and I feel like literally, it's like the same video about the occluder. It's like it's not a complicated piece of equipment, but people can't figure it out. It's like they, they just can't figure out basic concepts. Like, and the mask thing is like brought that to light so much more. And some of it may be just the fact they don't want to wear it, so they're going to wear it half ass or whatever. But who are you hurting? You're hurting yourself and other people. So is is that your goal you want to make other people sick or you want to carry something home to someone that you love and get them sick is that the point because you're succeeding you're winning at that so how about we all just cooperate get what we need to get done nobody likes it no one's like i wish we could wear masks full time not one person's ever said that everyone hates it but you know what if everybody did it long enough then maybe we cannot do it anymore. Other countries, they they wore them, they were religious about it, they stayed home, they did all the things they were supposed to do. They're back up and running. They're doing what they gotta do. Us, we're just like, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna try the alternative route, which is basically not giving a crap and hoping we don't die. That doesn't work, okay? So how about we don't do that anymore? I'm sorry, this is such a long rant, but it's so frustrating. Like It's like it was bad enough when you're at clinic and you see people being dumb and you're just like, grip my teeth, don't eye roll because they can see my eyes still. You know, you have to try to remember that. But <laughs> it's like, oh my God, just do what you need to do to get out of this situation. Like, and people are gonna talk about freedom, okay? That's a whole nother thing. It's like, yeah, you have the freedom not to wear it. Sure, you have the freedom not to wear it. You also have the freedom to get other people sick. You have the freedom to get yourself sick and die. Um, do you want people to have to help you when you get sick because you didn't play or you basically screwed around? Like you didn't take any of the rules seriously and now you want help and you wanna be on a ventilator? I don't know. You're the person that's gonna end up getting sick or you're gonna get other people sick. There are people around that are not you that can get sick. I don't know if you don't realize that or not. There's people with immunocompromised systems. There are people literally that have cancer and they have to take medications that make them easily susceptible to illness, okay? Open your eyes. Wearing a mask is not hurting you, okay? It's not hurting you. You can wear it in public. You're in the, and people bring up the whole thing. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. You know what? When I first put it on, I was like, I hate it. I can't breathe. I felt like that. And you know what happens? You get over it and you move on with your life and you eventually get used to it and you don't notice it anymore. And if you want to use that argument, oh my God, you're recycling the air and all that stuff. You know who also wears masks a lot? And they wear them all day. Doctors wear masks and surgery all the time. They use it the whole thing. They don't take it off and they're like, oh good, I'm cutting this person open. I'm gonna take it off because I can't breathe. They don't do that. Nurses have them on. Other people have them on and they have them on for a full shift. And do you hear them complain or say anything? No, they get over it. So that's the least you can do is to wear it in Walmart for freaking 30 minutes. 
and not it. So anyway, that's my rant for today. I'll try to post another video, like maybe a happier video because I feel like I just had to get this out because it's like poisoning me. Um, and I'm just over it. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is just over it. Like, please, just everyone be responsible for like a little bit and we can go back and you can be back to being stupid later. Get through this crap first. 2020 is not a good year. We need to just make it through, okay? Like, let's just all make it through without dying. Rant over.